Hello, Buzzer Gods, my name is Otto C and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Uh, where we have been busy over the last few episodes uh, of exploring uh, the environments we are in. Currently, we are facing a bit of uh, a shortage of, uh, of food. Actually, that's already going for, for quite a while. So maybe uh, let's eat a few more pips here. And the reason for that is it's a bit on the on the warm side here in our base. Um, so our plants are not really uh, growing as uh, they should be. Uh, last time we uh, uh, added this farm in the hopes that uh, with the uh, chlorine, um, with the with the chlorine, uh, went there, we managed to get some uh, uh, some of the um, of the puff that uh, can produce the. What was that called? Um, the bleach stone, that's what it is. So we can actually then create a salad form which uh, requires bleach stone um, as a sink. Uh, we also are uh, piling up here quite a bit of, uh, of polluted water is not that great um, because it's not that nice a thing to have in so uh, we have a wall here so let's dig two layers down that should bring the water level a bit further down um, and then we will see. Ooh, um, maybe we can also get a bit of meat out of there. And hopefully uh, we manage um, over time. Um, we also added a, a suit dock here. Uh, we will need that later on to do further exploring because um, going out uh, into the wider area, um, it's a bit um, unhealthy uh, for the for the duplicates, so we want to avoid that. Um, but yeah, that's that's it for for a starter. Um, we still need to go out a bit bit more um, what we can do is actually go down here um, down here we have an anti-entropy thermonullifier that would be the third one the first one we made use of is here and we uncovered the uh, one over here that we're not using and I would guess this one um, has basically the, the, the same the same fate. So let's see what we have in here. And then get down there. Take out the, the upper part here. And we do have quite some some fossils here that we can we can explore. We have a natural gas geyser. Mm. We also have a bit uh, um, a shortage on on fuel supply. You can see we are no longer all the way full, and that's because if we look at down here. Um, we're running out of, of crude oil 
and currently are actually pumping in um, this polluted water and, and water and so on um, into into this area. And we can dig a bit more space out here. So that can fill up a bit more. And we will just have to keep an eye on, on the food situation um, and do a bit more uh, exploring and hopefully we then can uh, sort out uh, this system here so we can bring that uh, into operation so we can actually uh, explore a bit more um, without endangering our replicants. Some progress has been made up here. I uh, planted a few uh, timber rates, uh, though the temperature is too hot for them to, to really grow. It's more uh, a means to uh, get rid of uh, polluted water. Uh, then down here uh, we have another consumer for polluted water, some balm lilies that occasionally grow if uh, the, uh, the air pressure is high enough. And then down here I have set up a water weed farm um, but most likely we um, will run into trouble with, uh, with bleach stone as we don't have enough and by the looks of it all our pots in here have died so that's no good either. Uh, but I plan out a bit of pipe for cooling the uh, water that's coming from from down here so basically we can then route it through here cool it down a bit before um, uh, putting it back here into this circuit and that should mean the water coming in here into our farm is way uh, cooler uh, and uh, we can actually make good use of the farm here um, but I still want to wait for that to be built then we also need to have that connection there before going in here and um, adding all this which probably should be a radiant pipe we will we will see but up here we have the atmosphere dock um, and uh, we can actually um, do a bit of uh, what? That's no good. Bubbles, you get get to here. Uh, we did lose one duplicant shorsh. Uh, that was the last duplicant we uh, added uh, from his home here. Uh, and that's another death. Um, not good at all, but Having less duplicates means uh, we need less food. So there's also a positive uh, side to that. Um, yeah, so now that um, we can have this, we can actually do a bit more exploring. We will do that by cutting across here. Um, we will probably um, want to go down there. Um, then 
over on this side. Yeah, let's let's cut through here. that because that basically breaks the uh, axis from the top where we don't have atmos suits um, it's the other thing and here we can uh, try to dig this out um, fossilized creature buried in my colony at least part of one but it does not resemble any of the species we have encountered on this asteroid where did it come from how did it get there and what other questions might be uh, these bones hold the answer to there is only one way to find out so that's one of the fossils. Um, and I guess we, we have to dig those out. Uh, we have a few more scattered around our base. So we will get to that. Uh, there is another one. Um, then up here somewhere there is one uh, yeah now that we have we have uh, the, uh, the appropriate suits we can actually go there Want to have a lock here because uh, of uh, of uh, spore blossoms, zombie spores. Um, not such a, a healthy healthy environment. And then there's probably one more somewhere around here. Um, and maybe we will just demolish this ladder here and uh, explore the rest uh, with with our suits and as I can see here um, probably let's go down here and over so we can uncover this port and yeah, it will take a while until we have dug uh, that part out. Um, uh, oh, yeah, down here, there we have an other one um, of these. Of these fossils. And we have to make sure that this way is blocked off. So basically we will not allow any duplicates to go through in this direction. They can come back the other way around. And then here we will have... Something like this. That should work. Yeah. All right then. Let's let our duplicates do a bit more uh, uh, digging, uh, and then we will see where they end up and uh, what they uncover. I think we managed to reveal the whole map or the essential part of the map from down here the lava core to up here where we have the border towards outer space and 
as a last thing here, uh, we uncovered another neurofacilator. So uh, let's put someone on there. Um, maybe Ren. And with that, we then will conclude this episode. Uh, the next one will most likely be the last one of uh, this series. Oh, plus 20 health per uh, cycle. And in that one, uh, we will see what's uh, up with, with all these fossils. Well, we have one here, um, what's the other one, one there, and then two more on the uh, other side. Um, one is up here, and one is down here um, in the cold biome. So, hope you enjoyed this episode, and join me also next time when we will see what's up with uh, those fossils. Until then, goodbye!